How does a dedicated tool for animation like Rough Animator compare to something more versatile like Procreate? It's indeed a tricky question, so let's look more into it. Procreate is undoubtedly one of the most well-known digital painting software available today. Thanks to its accommodating all type of users, whether it's digital artists, designers, and of course animators. The app covers what you would expect from an art program. You'll be able to work with different sized canvases or set your own. Then with that, you'll get to add as many layers as you like, change their blending modes as you need, and their hierarchy. You'll be able to also choose colors either from the color wheel or the color sets that already come along and add your own palettes for quick use. And of course, you'll get to play around with the plethora of fully customizable brushes Procreate has to offer to add your own special touch to your illustrations. But maybe what's most important is that it also includes an animation artist option for, well, making animations. Uh, when enabling the option, you'll be met with a timeline where you can create and manipulate frames as you like, as well as being able to set how many onion skin layers you want to see and their opacity and choose the playback option that you like. And combined with the robust drawing tools previously mentioned, you'll be set and ready to create beautiful and detailed masterpieces on your own. Procreate, although not made for solely the purpose of animating, still offers an enjoyable process of making art and animations. Liked by both beginners and professionals alike, it's straightforward, not cluttered in terms of design and offers everything you need right away for one-time purchase of $12.99 on the App Store, which is a great deal for what you'll get in return. Rough Animator is an app focused only on creating frame-by-frame -frame animation, and courtesy to Procreate, it is available on a wide range of platforms as a one-time purchase, such as iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac for $6.99, which might suit some people better. But do not be fooled by its cheap price, there's a lot to unpack about it. Once you choose the canvas size and frame rate, you'll be met with your workspace, where you will find everything you will work with laid in front of you, which can make it seem a bit cluttered with all of the big icons, but they keep it simple with no distracting elements to it. The timeline will be on top, where, of course, you'll manage and manipulate the frames and layers of the sequence. While on the left side, you'll find basic tools that you can use like a pen, eraser, a selection tool, etc. And at the bottom of the left side, Again, there will be some onion skin options you can toggle to your liking. Albeit being simple, Rough Animator offers a beginner-friendly environment similar to that of professional animation apps to mimic their vibe while also giving you just what you need to start animating right away and bring your characters and environments to life. You can, for example, customize your pens to a basic level to achieve different textures and feels in your animation, import video files to use for animating, or audio files to sync them to the scene directly, and choose from the various exporting options you have depending on how you are using your product later on. All in all, a Rough Animator is a powerful animation app that you can't really go wrong with, and in fact, you want to try it out. You can get your hands on the free trial version offered to Windows and Mac users. Who knows? You might like it. Although what I'm going to say will seem pretty obvious, but it is very important to remember that much like any skill, learning animation will undoubtedly take time and effort. From getting its basics to actually harnessing the full power of the software you'll be using in doing so. Yet thankfully, both Procreate and Rough Animator are perfect in being simple to understand and use. Rough Animator offers you all the essential tools you'll ever need and displays them in front of you right out of the box. You won't have your head wrapped around or lost when using the program. On the other hand, and despite also delivering a fairly simple and easy to use animation mode, Procreate might have a steeper learning curve due to the wide range of tools brushes and layer management options that it offers compared to Rough Animator, so you might take a moment to get familiar with the environment and tricks of the app first before jumping into animating. 
Of course, it won't be a versus video without tackling the pros and cons of each app. Procreate in its own right is a great app for digital art. It has intuitive design, great fully customizable tools, and ensures a smooth and flawless workflow through its compatibility with Apple products and supporting various gestures. Yet, it is again important to note that the app is meant to make digital paintings rather than animating. So you might find that the animating tools themselves might lack quite a bit for being basic, but that won't stop you from creating beautiful detailed animations overall. Rough Animator's main purpose, as its name suggests, is to create frame-by-frame -frame animations. So again, you'll be getting the basic package to do so without being intimidating to use, and it delivers on that pretty well. But it's this simplicity that might cause some limitations in the future, as it does not allow for room to create more complicated animations even when turning the brush settings. And if finding a way around that is possible, it might be less convenient and efficient. Just like how no two snowflakes are the same, no two artists are the same. Or maybe they are, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that getting to a final say is such a debate ultimately comes to a personal opinions and liking. If you want something that feels more professional without being complicated, uh, something that is solely animation oriented, then go with Rough Animator. Uh, if you would like to paint or you're more focused on painting and unleashing your creativity to the fullest, uh, yet you still enjoy doing some animation even if they're basic, then Procreate might be more your thing. Either way, setting goals and identifying your needs from each app will help you making your decision and getting to know which category you might fall in love in more. And if it's still hard to do so, there is nothing wrong in testing and seeing which will suit you more. And that's all we've got for you today. We hope that you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new. Did you try any of these apps? If yes, tell us your experience down below. Don't forget to also like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. So see y'all next time and have a nice day. Bye bye.